Hello everybody, this is Dimple here again welcoming you all back to my next tutorial on Android Framework Components. In today's session, we shall see one of the interesting topics that is EXIF interface in Android. What is this EXIF interface, when to use it and how to use it. So most of the times we capture images and we make use of these images in multiple applications, right? Uh, one of the drawback is that we cannot read the details of the images directly from them. Okay, details such as the date and time from which the uh, at which the image was captured or the location details, the height, uh, the length, the width, all these details directly we cannot get from the image itself. Earlier we were using metadata which used to extract this information from different methods. Okay. Uh, now Google has introduced EXIF files and EXIF interface to solve this problem. So we'll see more about it. So EXIF interface is nothing but it's a standard that defines specific information related to an image or other media captured by a camera. EXIF stands for exchangeable image file format. So all the uh, information related to an image or a video, that information will be retrieved by this EXIF interface. You all can see an example here, what type of information this EXIF interface will give us. Uh, the length, the image width, length, date and time at which the image was captured, the tags, the models, orientation and the white balance focal length all these gps related uh, stuffs like date time uh, latitude longitude gps coordinates all these different information is captured by this exif interface and it will be made easily available to the user so whenever you all want to see this information or details you all can easily view it so EXIF interface has been introduced in Android uh, support library since uh, 25.1.0. Even though this has been existing since 7.1, that is now good, it made sense from Android 9 onwards with all the capabilities provided to the interface. This has been added with 100 plus attributes to read the EXIF tags of the images. See, there are 100 plus attributes, 100 plus such attributes will be made available. And uh, these tags uh, for reading what are the format it supports. So it supports all these different types of formats for reading. That means it can read from these tags and to write information it can write only into a jpeg png and webp image file formats uh, one thing that is important to understand with exif data is that there are no required tags okay every tag is optional so whichever you want you can customize it okay there is no uh, hard rule that you this tag is uh, uh, mandatory to use and this tag is optional nothing like that every tag is optional based on your uh, requirements you can customize those tags okay so the functions few of the functions which we use is get attribute int to retrieve any integer value from the tag get attribute double to retrieve double value and get attribute for strings exif interface will not work with remote input streams okay such as those returned from http url connections so it is strongly recommended to use this exif interface only with either content or file uri okay you can use it only with content uri or file uri so one example I have put here, uh, here we are using EXIF interface, we can easily alter the already set JPEG orientation and GPS location. Okay, mainly um, we want to retrieve information about orientation, GPS location. Those times we will use this EXIF interface. So here they are creating a new interface and they are getting the uh, path of the image where it is stored okay using picture file dot get absolute path then this set attribute method is there no it is setting the attribute to what 
to uh, get sensor position so it's getting the sensor position and to that particular orientation it is setting it is setting the orientation of the image okay and it is saving attribute so save attribute function will save that particular orientation of the image the current orientation that was just an example so when this exif interface is used exif interface is used in writing the image information when a picture is taken okay it is helpful to handle orientation when saving the image on phone storage and uh, we may need to decrease the image size and update the exif info for this we will have to fetch the exif info and save the updated info back onto the image so if you want to retrieve any uh, information about the image that time we have to use this exif interface if you want to decrease the image size and we have to update the exif info and then we can save it back and exif info is also used to fetch and parse the image headers keeping view orientation of the device constant when the device is rotated okay so when you rotate your uh, device your image also should not rotate right so your image should be constant so in those cases we have to use this exif interface and we use the exif interface to fetch image from gallery display it with proper orientation and other at attributes with which the image was saved okay when i click an image in a portrait mode and if i um, go back and open that image from the gallery the image has to be displayed in portrait mode only okay so uh, exif interface will make sure all such things all such attributes with which the image was saved all those are handled by exif interface Uh, I'll just quickly tell where exactly this exif interface dot Java file is located. So here I have taken Oreo uh, source code and uh, exif interface dot Java file comes in framework base media Java Android media folder. So you all can have a look at this file. Uh, you uh, you will come to know what are the different functions which is handled by this exif interface. See get attribute. all these things which i mentioned in the ppt get attribute get attribute integer double set attribute if i want to set any orientation or gps time stamps i can even customize that using set attribute function and update attribute if i want to update any value change any values i can use this function if i want to delete or remove any attribute i can use this then i can again use load attributes so we print attributes save so all these things we can come to know if you all go through this code which is present in exif interface dot java file to get the thumbnails all these we use exif interface so i hope this was informative and helpful uh, you all came to know what is exif interface in android today i'll be seeing you all soon in my next tutorial until then everyone take care bye